So many channels put out this information, and this is the compiled data from Farfa, the uh, Yubel Yuki, Rufio, and many others, and I'll show those off down here. Um, but this is everything that we have from Toon Chaos, and people are disappointed in this set already. I haven't had the time to read stuff, I actually just got home. Uh, so this is going to be my honest first opinions on this stuff. The Chaos Creator! Level 8, 2300. Hey, I mean, you can trade it in 8 if it's bad. So, cannot be normal summer set. Must be special summon from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from your graveyard. Alright. If you if you control this card that was special summoned from your hand, you target three banished monsters with different names. Special summon one of them and place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. You can only use this effect of the Chaos Creator once per turn. This is basically exactly what we thought. Like, for a banished light, banished dark, you get to bring back one of them and shovel the rest back. I mean, it doesn't seem that amazing, but this is exactly what we were expecting. Like, this is no different than... Yeah. Alright. Toon Schwozer Grenzer Soldat. I love this art. This is so cool. So, Toon Black Luster Soldier. 3,500. Can't be normal summer set. Must be first boss summoned from your hand by tributing two monsters from your hand or field whose total level equal eight or more. Okay, this is a mandatory three of. While well, you control Toon World and your opponent doesn't control a Toon Monster, this card can attack your opponent directly. Once you're in, if you control a Toon World, you can target one card in the field and banish it. This card cannot attack during the turn that this effect is activated. Okay, this is this is literally everything I dreamed of for a Toon deck. Like, this card is really good. This answers some of the bricky problems that we had with the deck. Gives us a 3k beater that we can establish on the field, and we can auto answer cards with this. I don't see a problem with this. Like, once again, like, this isn't tier 1 support, but like, for the Toon archetype, this is amazing. Alright. Chaos Valkyrie. I'm in love with this art, by the way. This is gorgeous. I was hoping that we would get more Valkyrie support uh, esque looking cards, but this is good. Alright. Cannot be normal summer set. Must be special summoned by a card effect. Okay, you can banish one light and dark monster from your graveyard, or, okay, it's one light or one dark. Okay, special summon this card from hand. If this card is banished, you can send one light or one dark monster from your deck to the graveyard, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot activate cards or effects of cards with the same name as that card. You can only use each effect of Chaos Valkyrie once we're done. This literally lets me foolish barrel anything that I want, and it's a free special summon extender for light and dark. This card seems really good to me. Like, once again, I don't see any problems with this. Like, more extenders for your uh, rocket theme deck. Uh, the only thing is she's a light fairy extender. What in the world is this? Dame Harpy Tune. Did we really need a Tune Harpy? Okay, so what do you do? Cannot attack during the turn of summoned. If you control a Tune World, you can special summon this card from hand. If you control another Tune, you can destroy one spell trap card your opponent controls. You can only use this effect of Toon Heart Ability once per turn. While you control Toon World and your opponent doesn't control a Toon Monster, this card can attack your opponent directly. Huh. We got another special summoner. Huh. Alright. I dig it. Like, this and the Black Luster Soldier are very welcome upgrades for the deck. Honestly. Chaos Dedalus? Oh, well, this looks like a Thunder Dragon, <laughs> as bad as that is. So, cannot be normal summoner set, seems to be the clause of the day here. Must be first special summon from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from graveyard. While a field spell is face up, your opponent cannot target light or dark monsters you control with card effects. You can target face up cards on the field up to the number of face up spell and trap cards on the field. Banish them. You can only use this effect of Chaos to Delos once per turn. 2615. That's really odd. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. It's another special summoner. It's a sea serpent, which is really kind of weird. Um, but I, once again, any any sort of like tune support that we're or tune and chaos support we're getting, it, it's got to be a little bit more acceptable. I don't know. This doesn't seem that good because of the face up can uh, the face up spells and traps. But once again. Another monster that we can extend for. Marky Page Toon. Toon Bookmark. Okay. 
So you can have one Tomb World or one card that specifically lists Tomb World in its text from your deck to your hand, except for Tomb Bookmark. If Tomb World you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can only activate one Tomb Bookmark per turn. I'm not going to lie to you. Giving Tomb World six searchers now uh, is pretty cool, all right? This deck's turbo wing speed at this point has got to be absurd. Like, I don't know, I, I just like the fact that we have so much search power here for tunes at this point that it's actually ridiculous. Alright? The fact that you have an unrestricted searcher and the fact that you have this combined with like everything else, like this deck has got to be getting near somewhere as an acceptable deck. Chaos Space. Okay, so send one light or dark monster from your hand to the graveyard. Add one light or dark monster that cannot be normal summoned or set from your deck to your hand with a level from 4 to 8 and with a different attribute than the monster. So if you send light, you can recruit for dark and vice versa. Okay, you can banish this card from your graveyard and then this card from your graveyard target one of your banished light or dark monsters that can't be normal summoner set and place on the bottom of your deck and then draw one card you can only activate each effect of chaos space once per turn now hold up here so you gave us <clears throat> the ability to tutor for every chaos monster physically in the game now hmm that's kind of interesting uh, the cost isn't even that bad. Like, yeah, it's an inherent neg one, but at least it pays you back the cost later for, you know, return of a draw one. So, that's not that bad. Like, I'll take that, alright. Chaos, or Eternal Chaos. Uh, Chaos Eternal, okay. Target one face of monster your opponent controls. Send one light and one dark monster from your deck to the graveyard, whose combined attack is equal to or lower than that monsters. And for the rest of this turn after this card resolves. Yeah, if also for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, you can only activate one monster effect in the graveyard. You can only activate one eternal chaos per turn. You know, you could have just allowed us to exceed the attack points of the opponent's monster. I think that that would have been fine. Because then we could have just shaved off some big guys from our deck. But I feel like they were a little bit afraid of that. Alright, so unfortunately, this is a trap. I don't really like this. But it does drop two from deck to set up for the next turn. So I guess in inherently, it can't be that awful. And then we got Terror Tomb. When a spell trap card monster effect is activated, while well, you control a tomb monster and a tomb, tomb world and tomb monsters, negate the activation if you destroy it. You can only activate one Terror Tomb once per turn. I also don't know how I feel about that. Like, they, they tried to modernize tunes with this set. And I think the the real four cards we got are not bad. Like, the Black Luster, the Harpy, and the Bookmark are all very good upgrades for the deck. Like, I we're, still feel like we're missing something, but, like, we're, we're getting there, man. Like, just <laughs> the day that we're going to have a consistent tune deck scares me. Oh, all right. So... Tweets from the Yu-Gi-Oh! News Network on Twitter, sponsored by Konami. Um, okay, so I see that we have our friend here. Alright, so the Immortal Gear Free is coming. The Sword of Rapinius is coming. Let's see here, what else do we have? Uh, we have Supervise, this God Phoenix, helpful supported cards. Uh, evidently Code Generators coming on out too. Yay, reprints. Alright, let me get down here to our Toon Chaos exclusive reveal reprint list. So Driver's alright, Sangam Witch is okay. Chaos Monsters, kind of kills the value in the jump, but that's fine. This needed a reprint. Um, so did this. So your Gamma. Gamma and Driver are both good reprints. Uh, the Agni Sod as an Ultra is going to look fire. Uh, more Black Luster Soldier. Interesting to see that this got the reprint. Yeah, this was the reprint. My bad. I also see all of our masked heroes. Central got the reprints. Good job for Dion and Acid, by the way. I also see the Mud Dragon made its way in here. Stardust I don't get. Um, I also see that our Prison, our Dugress, 
Uh, the Chaos World Desires is in here. Does that mean Collector's Rare Desires? Hmm. Extrav and Starlight Road all made their way in here. And then special tweets and thank yous. Farfa, it's Brad HD. Let's see here. Ooh. Uh, the Dark One, Rufio. Yubel Yuki, Yu Gi Oh! Nice Guy, uh, Julio, Lotak, TGS Anime, Game Hog, and Yuki Ono and Eternity. Not too bad. I don't know. I, I don't know I, what we were expecting from this. Were we expecting, like, Tears of Real Broken? Oh my god. Because these are going to go up in value. Like, mark my words. Like, expect crazy values in the tune stuff. Did we only really get four new tune cards? Huh. Maybe I... Huh, that's kind of sad, actually. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's your set. Are tunes getting somewhere? I hope so. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, guys, I'm out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end. Without you guys' support, well... I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vancall 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcall 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.